Hello everyone, my name is Mayinjan and I am your LRDI instructor. Today, I will be teaching you all about cubes with a special focus on cutting the cubes. Cube is an important component of most of the competitive exams and if you get the concept straight, you will be able to solve the problem in less than 30 seconds. So here we go. Talking about the basic theory of cubes, a cube has 6 faces. While 3 of them are visible, remaining 3 are hidden. A cube has 12 edges and 8 corners. All the 6 faces of a cube, they are of square in shape and all the edges, they are of similar dimension. Talking about the types of questions that come in cubes, so there are basically three different types. Type 1 is you have been given the number of cuts and you have to find out the maximum number of identical pieces that will be that will come out because of those cuts. The second one is the reverse of first one. That is, you have been given the number of identical pieces and you have to find out the minimum number of cuts required to have those number of identical pieces. The third would be painting the cube. We will be discussing about type 1 and type 2 in this video and type 3 will be covered in the subsequent video. So, talking about cutting a cube with one cut, all of us know that if we cut anything with one cut, we get two pieces. Similarly, if I cut anything with five parallel cuts, I will get six pieces. So whenever I use n number of parallel cuts, I always have n plus one number of parallel pieces. All right. So in this case, if I cut this particular cube right from the middle with only one cut, I will have two identical pieces. All right. Talking about cutting a cube with two cuts. So I can put two parallel cuts and I'll have three identical pieces. However, there is a different way of cutting this cube as well with two cuts. So I put one cut this way and the second cut would be perpendicular to the first one. So in this case, I get four identical pieces. So the maximum number of identical pieces in this case would be four only. All right. Talking about cutting a cube with three cuts, I can put three parallel cuts and I'll get four identical pieces. I can put two parallel cuts, get three pieces and one perpendicular cut that will itself result in two more types. So it will be three into two, that is six pieces. Third way could be one cut like this. Second one would be perpendicular to the this one. So the, this is four. And then the third would be perpendicular to these two. All right. So this will result in further two. So it's four into two, that is eight number of identical pieces. So with three cuts, we can have maximum of eight number of identical pieces. For cutting a cube with four cuts, we can have four parallel cuts and then we have five identical pieces. We can have three parallel cuts and one perpendicular cut. We can have four into two, that is eight identical pieces. We can have two parallel cuts and two perpendicular cuts on those parallel cuts. So we'll have two plus one into two plus one. That is nine number of identical pieces. However, if we put two parallel cuts, one perpendicular to those two parallel cuts and one perpendicular to all the all these three cuts, we'll have 12 number of identical pieces. That is two plus one into one plus one into one plus one. That is three into two, six, six into two, 12. All right. Now, for a cube with higher number of cuts, going through all the possible combinations is very difficult and time consuming. Hence, the trick for the same is, let's say you have been given number of cuts. In this case, let's assume it's 12. So just try and break this 12 in the form of x plus y plus z. So just make a table and just try and break 12 in the form of x plus y plus z. So 12 can be written as 10 plus 1 plus 1, 9 plus 2 plus 1, 8 plus 3 plus 1, 8 plus 2 plus 2, 7 plus 4 plus 1, 7 plus 3 plus 2 and so on till 5 plus 5 plus 2, 5 plus 4 plus 3, 4 plus 4 plus 4. Now in these particular combinations just try and look for those combination those that particular combination in which the value of x, y and z is as close to each other as possible. So in the first case 10, 1, 1, 10, 1, 1 and are not that much closer all right. Secondly, in the second case, 9 plus 2 plus 1, they are also not that much close. Similarly, 7, 4, 1 are not that much close, 7, 3, 2, no, 6, 3, 3, no, 5 plus 5 plus 2, no, 
651543 all of them they are not that close however we have this particular combination that is 444 here all three are equal to each other so they are the closest to each other all right so as soon as you are done identifying the value of x y and z the number of identical pieces would be x minus 1 in x plus 1 into y plus 1 into z plus 1 all right so now we'll try and identify for which of these particular combination the number of identical pieces are maximum so in the first case wherein the breakup is 10 plus 1 plus 1 the number of identical pieces would be 10 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 that is 11 into 2 22 22 into 2 44 for second case it would be 9 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 it into 1 plus 1 so 9 plus 1 is 10 2 plus 1 is 3 and 1 plus 1 is 2 10 into 3 into 2 that is 60 we'll calculate for the remaining cases as well so as you can see that for the combination of 5 plus 4 plus 3 you will have 6 into 5 into 4 that is 120 for the last case you will have 4 plus 1 into 4 plus 1 into 4 plus 1 that is 5 into 5 into 5 125 so this is the maximum number of identical pieces that we can get so just always try and look for that particular combination in which the value of x y and z is as close to each other as possible so talking about the reverse way that is what about the those cases where the number of identical cubes have been given and we have to identify the number of cuts minimum number of cuts required so in that particular case following approach should be used so let's say the number of identical pieces that have been given is 210 so just try and break this 210 in the form of a into b into c So for that purpose, just make a table, and here we go. So 210 can be written as 210 into 1 into 1, 105 into 2 into 1, 17 into 3 into 1, and so on till 21 into 10 into 1, 15 into 14 into 1. Similarly, 14 into 5 into 3, 10 into 7 into 3, and 7 into 6 into 5. As soon as you are done identifying all the particular combinations, just try and look for those values. that particular combination where the values of a b c are as close to each other as possible so talking about the first case that is 210 into 1 into 1 the difference between 1 and 210 is huge similarly in the second case the difference between 1 to 1 and 105 is good the difference between 1 3 and 70 is quite good the difference between 1 5 and 42 is also quite huge similarly 1 14 and 15 is quite huge 3 5 and 14 is quite huge 3 7 and 10 is still quite huge now take this particular case that is 7 into 6 into 5 so here the difference between x y and z is very less and x y z is as close to each other as possible all right now after you are done identifying the values of a b and c the number of identical pieces could be calculated by this method that is a minus 1 plus b minus 1 plus c minus 1 or a plus b plus c minus 3 now we'll put this formula in the all in all the particular combinations and we'll look for the minimum value of the number of cuts all right so in the first case the cut would be 210 plus 1 plus 1 minus 3 that is 209 in the second case the value would be 105 plus 2 plus 1 minus 3 that is 105 in the third case the value would be 70 plus 3 plus 1 minus 3 that is 71 similarly we will calculate the values for all the particular combinations all right in the last three combinations the values would be 14 plus 5 plus 3 that is 22 minus 3 19 10 plus 7 plus 3 that is 20 minus 3 17 and 7 plus 6 plus 5 that is 18 minus 3 15 so in order to get 210 number of identical pieces the number of cuts should be 15 i hope you were able to get the basic concepts of cube in the next video we'll be talking about painting the cubes thank you so much